you can turn me on. Ready or not? And yes, you can. It's Pigsy. How the hell are you? Um, I'm doing fantastic. Just driving along, going off to a job, and uh, enjoying my life. So I'm going to do a bit of a fast, I'm pushing, pushing the envelope out really. And I think you've got to, once your body's getting adapted, you probably best to push yourself a little bit. A bit of push, didn't do any arm. And um, so I'm just going to add this water, a bit of a water fast. There's something I wanted to talk about water fasting actually. The problem that people face is they try to use it to control hunger pains. And that's a slightly different method. Because what you're doing then is you're just trying to keep your hunger levels down. So your hunger restri your calorie restricts in using water basically. Which is different. Now the, the thing is with water fasting is that you'll be taking it just to keep your body so it can flush itself out and so on. But you don't need to have a lot of water at all. So I'm a bit dry at the moment and my throat feels a little sore, but I'm not going to have any water, I'm just let it go for a, a while. And then maybe near lunchtime, or if I do start to feel it, then I drink a bit of water. However, my body's um, fat adapted, so like my mood's fairly steady, it's not going up and down and getting all sort of grouchy and other things. And um, I'm feeling good, you know, there's no, there's no issues there. Just uh, just plow on as you do, really. So the idea is probably to lose a bit more weight. So the stomach's getting flatter. I'm going to avoid having any kind of flushes at the moment, like salt flush and that lot. It's a bit lethal. And it takes me about a day to recover afterwards. So you've got, um, you've probably got diarrhea for about 20 hours. And um, then afterwards, just feel a bit tired, a bit drained. It could be because of the fasting anyway. So it's not bad, it's just... Um, and, um, and like I say, it's probably opened me up for getting a uh, cold or something, I'm trying to attack me. <coughs> Which I'm working at trying to get rid of. And, and try fasting might be the way. That's it, really. Not what else has got going on. No, just just do that. Just get myself. I'm getting myself as best as I can be, um, and then possibly there's sort of a no contact thing I'm involved with at the moment with somebody. And so what I might do is I might just drop a drop a little message and say, you know, as a friend, or even if we can't be friends, it'd be nice if we just go. Just come out with me, just go to um, go to local cinema, do coffees, have a chat, have a catch up. And that's it really. You know, keep it very Because sometimes people see different angles, different aspects of people's character. So if you're a little bit needy because you're willing to put a lot of energy into a relationship and then someone just sort of changes a bit and pulls back. It's difficult because people if people ask for your involvement in their life they got to realise you've got to be wondering how how are you investing yourself? Why are you getting so involved? You know, and sometimes you need to look, remind them as a friend or, or whatever. But if you don't have that conversation, it can be a bit more complicated. Or you jump the gun because people kind of like reason the relationships. So they want to spend more time with you to get to know you better. But for a guy, it might be like you know we could just like skip these skip a few. Um, points in the chart and so they you know basically sometimes they're very open they want to uh, be very trusting before they develop something they want to feel emotions before they actually think about them and so that's that's possibly some issue there however like I say just chuck it out there and if I'm the new man you know when somebody says oh, I don't want to hear anything from you or see you or, or whatever they say to you I don't know it wasn't that quite that bad but um you know, it's more like I don't think we should see each other ever again or something. But what? Didn't really upset. 
So, but that's normal. It's not. It's not out of the blue. And if you leave things uh, months and months and months, then it's kind of the reset point. We don't. We can only remember so much. If somebody only remembers negative things about you, then they're never a negative person. Very difficult to have a relationship with that person. But if they're not, then you know it's the. Um, which it shouldn't be, they should remember some things, right? And if you changed, or your appearance has changed radically, they'd be going, they'd be like, whoa, some changes are here, this person's different. It's a bit like your hairstyle, if you change your hair, people say you have to adapt, that you, that basically you're part of your brain thinks this person's a new person, so anyway. Right, well, this is a big sign off, and I'll speak to you again soon.